What's up, everybody? I'm back. It's your boy, JR303. Today, we're going to be doing a review on Floyd's custom products. Um, and show you them and actually do an install on both so you know how easy it is and what to do. So, without further ado, this is, as you know, this is my MNP. Uh, the one I just modified and fixed up. I did all the work on it. Uh, it rocks the the Floyd's Custom Magwell. This is the Duty. Um, the EDC version. I, I couldn't really... The pictures of the EDC versus the comp competition one. I couldn't see the difference. And I don't know. They look identical to me. And it might be a difference with the 1.0 versions. But um, I'm going to be installing the 1.0 versions today on this and i'll show you how to do it. it's really simple you don't want to remove these on and off a lot because they do hold on the plastic as you can see i installed that one and they, you only really need like a quarter to do this like a quarter like a piece of change um to put them on you don't want to really use a phillips screwdriver so i'm going to get a quarter here and show you all that so this is it. Let me give you up a close up of the Floyd's Magwell on my MMP, the 2.0. You can see. And we and I had just did a video about we can safety check. As you can see, I don't when I make my videos, I don't have no ammo, ammunition around me. I'm completely safe. Same thing with all the mags. If I do need ammunition. Use snap caps. This is a product I got on Amazon. This is a 9mm. I got 9, 40, and 45. So, again. So, but this is their Magwell. It's machined from, uh, I was told, from billet aluminum. Um, really nice. This is your retaining pin. So, I'll be using that and you literally just use a quarter to do it. It's simple. Um, here's your standard mag. This is 17 round. I got these before on the mag drop. I made sure to get extra, especially these 17 rounds. Uh, MMP rounds. So we got those. Here's their mag extension. So these are the plus two. And I'll show you how those, all the difference. You cannot fit these. Your standard mags will not work with the Floyd's mag wells. Uh, you need mag extensions by Floyd. Of course, you can always buy their extensions without their mag wells. Um, and they'll work. Let's see if you, you put them, see it won't. Your gun won't lock. So, don't try that. Um, there's a couple things. So here's the. Some things I've noticed. I was wondering, I was gonna call Floyd's. Uh, see, it's not. But here's the plus two. With just with thumb press, if it's locks in perfect. Look how they do the cutout here. So if you ever have to strip your mag, for some reason it's my mags just fall out really nice. But if you need to strip them, it'll give you a nice grip and strip your mag. Strip, strip, strip your mag. Put it in your head. I'm not gonna make a song bad at singing. I'm gonna tell you guys a story one day about how I got suckered into karaoke. Getting told, "Oh, you have a good country voice," and I'm not a country type guy, but I know a country song. Yeah, I do the song in crickets. So, I mean, it's better than booze, but I was this brown boy was pretty red that day. So, uh, and, that, and that was with liquid courage, and I was still redder than hell and embarrassed. So, but anyways. So yeah, this is the plus two. Uh, stripping your mags can be kind of difficult. Let me see. They did on the the 2.0 do a little cutout, which was nice. But like, let's see. Another safety check. Let's do a safety check. You guys can see nothing in the chamber. Um, you can see right through. There we are. Uh, so they do have the bulge, which is nice. 
to strip it. When they're tight, they can actually be pretty difficult to yank out. So these cutouts really help a lot. Um, as you can see, the 1.0 versus the 2.0 mags are all the same. It's a 9 millimeter. Now let's move on. This is the plus 6 mag. As you can see. And you just need L wrenches to install them, um, which I will have. All right, let's get to this. But this is the plus six. If you put this on the 40, you're going to get plus five. So if you go with the 40 cal, it's plus five. Let me see. Okay. All right. Oh, which let me show you how that inserts. This is where I have the difference. So see, look, if I push with my thumb, it did catch there, which I was amazed because I was trying to see, it doesn't always catch. If I really push, it catches. But what's weird on the two, it just, it just easily, it does go in more. So these, I do notice you're gonna have to, will hold. Same thing, these are nice for stripping, look at that. And they just strip nice. Um, you do have to stretch your springs out to get them to work. And I'll show you that on the install. But these are the Floyd's Customs. They work great. I've shot with them. Do good. I've had no failures. Um, I mean, plus six on a 17. Plus one in the chamber. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, you're running 23, 24 rounds with the plus one in the chamber. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know if law departments allow you to run these, but it's pretty crazy. Um, even plus two is nice. I mean, not even just for the benefit of plus two. They do make, I believe, just the flat plates that don't, they just don't give you plus two, but they look identical to this. Uh, but, man, the stripping on these is a, really good. If you do a lot of shooting and you've had failures and you have to strip your mags, these are awesome yeah these are the Floyd customs now we're gonna do an install and I'll be back and I'm gonna show you that all right we're back had to just go grab my cheap little Pittsburgh my L wrenches well these aren't L kind of but anyway so yeah let's so let's get into this pretty simple we'll do this one um, let me show you them the packaging so I do notice that this one is the harder one. I have a plus two, but we'll do the plus six right now. Uh, but they install identically. One's just a shorter plate than the other. Uh, and they install the same. So to start, let's get our plus six out. And I do love these. The only thing is with Floyd's, they are expensive. So I bought um, Three of the six and three of the twos. Um, no, I take that back. I bought six of the six and six of the twos for multiple mags because I have another three. So six and then each one of these I had to buy three because I have th I want three. So my forty and then this one, uh, the nine millimeter, and it's three hundred plus dollars. It's very expensive, but I do notice if you put a bigger order, I did contact Floyd's. They were amazing. Customer service was great. I hit them up with an email. I didn't tell them I'm a YouTuber or nothing like that. Because, I mean, hey, if they told them they're a YouTuber and they see my six subscribers, they're going to be like, hey, we should actually charge you to even show our products. But I digress. So um, I did ask them. I, was, I said, hey, I'm buying a lot of products uh, it is kind of expensive. I do want to run your products. And I asked if there was any type of discount, free shipping or anything. I guess they just do free shipping automatically over a certain price. And I didn't know that. It didn't say anything anywhere. But they said sure. And they gave me a good discount. They gave me like a 15% discount, which was really nice. Um, so it never hurts when you're doing orders for manufacturers. Hit them up and say, hey, is there any discount codes you can offer me? Because I noticed no one was giving discount codes online. I couldn't find them. 
But I just asked and they said, yep. Uh, and they sent me. It was amazing. That was really nice of them to do. They could have honestly just been like, no, we don't discount. And I would have um, then uh, been having to pay the full price, which have been 400 and some dollars, I believe. So um, give me one second and we're going to do the install. So we're going to do the install now. Let me show you. Uh, I said I don't edit my videos. <laughs> what a hypocrite. No. I, I do, uh, I have a friend, he's really good, and you're going to have to check him out. He has some uh, stuff online, um, and it's I think it's Cabanas Photography. I'll, I'll get back to you guys on that. He's done all my website work for my business and things like that. He's really affordable. Uh, uh, he's a really good kid. Uh, well, he's a younger guy. He's like 24 or something. He knows what he's doing, and he helps me edit these because... Um, so I really don't edit or like redo things. I might pause and come back. So bear with me. Like I said, I'm new to this, trying to build up, maybe get a little studio. It'd be awesome if we could get big. I would, I'm definitely someone that likes doing, uh, I work with the community and do community work. So like we do shows and things like that. And, uh, we give work with small businesses and, uh, give a lot of giveaways for, uh, community events to help people and, this different causes but yeah so let's get back into this so we'll start with this the mag extension this is the plus six like i said plus five if it was a 40. um so all you have to do is see this button down here we're just going to take our tool and just give it a little push just to get it forward and i know there's another video on how to do this online but hopefully um Here's a, like this one. Always, I always put my thumb here as I pull because if you pull it or that, this spring will shoot you in the face and you lose all that. And I always say, I just put my parts back in the new bags that I took, got this part so I have them. Um, so I'm gonna pull it out, keep my thumb. See, look at that, the pressure. These are new mags. I, I didn't buy them brand new, I've had them, but I've just, they've just been packaged, so um, the springs are still pretty tight on it. So I grab this, release the spring pressure. There's your under your plate. And it goes like that, see. When that's in your mag, it's locked in and holds. Um, these do not go back in here. Uh, I heard someone say, asked before if they go in there. So no, they do not. So second. What we'll do is I'll just take these off. You can see. You just remove it. Let me straighten that out. Take these off. Now I'm going to take this off. And something I noticed with these, and I have it in my box, so it's right here to my right. So I got it. Uh, let's see. Some manufacturers will put like blue Loctite. These don't come with any Loctite as you can see. And you can see this plate that we just took off. There's a flat side and then there's a recess for the, the screw side. You see that? So make sure when you put them on it's always like that so your screws will countersink. So we got our plate. Okay. So something I like to do, and you have to, and I just, um, and I'll do it. I need a, just my sanding block. Let me grab that. And what you're going to do is just lightly sand, round off these edges here. So one second, guys, let me go just grab a piece of sandpaper. All right, so we got our sanding block. I just found this block. It has a light, they say medium coarse. It's not the aggressive coarse. And then I do have a 400 grit. But the thing is, you just want to knock off these harsh corners. You see there? I just think about rounding it. See at the angle? As you can see how I put it at an angle. I'm just trying to round them off a little bit. And that's your follower. We're just gonna I bend the spring back Push this forward. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to get the harsh edges off. You can go this way. 
this way and you notice it'll get softer. We'll do that and we'll do it this way. We just want to get those off. Just those harsh edges. See how it's gone smoother? Round, that's what they say to knock off those corners. And we'll just do that. And see, they get softer. It's mostly for back here. If you see in the back part, look how sharp those edges are. That's where they're trying to get you to cut down. So see, I take my spring, turn it like that. And I can go up. And if you put it flat, you can always put it flat and go at an angle. See? Uh, however, you feel comfortable. This one's a little bit used. So I'm gonna just I just hit it. It's like a lady doing nails with those files. If you have all those files, you can probably do this too. It work just as good. So we're just knocking off those hard edges. Not really trying to change the whole profile. Yeah, see, it's much softer. At an angle, just to I think they want it so it doesn't get caught. Just like you're doing nails. Hi, shirt. I forgot what Peter Griffin he was doing with his nails. So yeah, see I just knock them down. See the hard edges are gone. Just more rounded in the corners. I think that's where it grabs mostly. I like these sponge blocks. They form a little bit more. Let's just do that. That's how you do them. Get them nice and rounded. But we'll move forward. And then you need to take your spring give it a nice stretch just give it a little bit of a stretch just want to get a little bit longer to just get you this so then you stick your follower back in you see you're made so now what we're going to do is we're going to take your plate I'm going to slip it on I like to stick my fingers like that. And then I push, pull it forward, see? See how my finger's there on the back of the spring? Pull it forward. And I slide on this. Spring's in there. Pop it all the way back there. Looks pretty center when you look in there. And now what I like to do on these because I mean guns are going through a lot of shock. I use some Loctite. I found this at, uh, at my local car place. This is orange thread locker. So it's not red. You don't need no special tools. not permanent. But I guess it's stronger than blue. But this is just what I have. You could still use blue. I'm sure it'd be fine. Um, I got this just for high vibrations. I'm doing another projects. So I take that. I'm going to... Oh, look at that. So I got a little extra. Just take my rag, wipe it clean. See, and it's orange. Carrot juice. Okay. So again, we're going to put on our black plate with the curves down. See? Curves down. Counter sink up. I'm going to put that. I'm going to take one of my screws. Just put a dab on I'll start the the screw look at that okay I got it started I like to just start that one like that I'm trying to show you guys how to do so once again a nice little drop and then I'm gonna stick it in there I started with my fingers. I mean, you can start it with the tool. I'm a little shaky, apparently, being on camera. Okay, see, I'm just going to start them. And get them as low as they'll go. See? Then you take your tool. Put that on. Not tight. I'm just going. Just to fill it. Get a little snug. Okay, now it's snug, so I'll just 
snug it up. Now what I like to do is I put it in there, get it in, and just quarter turn and quarter turn. There we are, nice and tight. If you have any thread locker on the back, just wipe it off now. And there you go, and that's how you put this on. All right, so it's your plus six. Let's try it out. See, when I first do them, I notice, I don't know if it's a spring tension or what, but if you give a little hit and seat your mag, they go in. So, I, I think this one I've been using, so it's getting much easier. I know that's why I was just able to just push it there. So there you go. That's in. It operates. Locks back. Slide forward. This is just like I said. Locks back. Slides forward. And there you go. Push these up. And then we're gonna do the install of the Magwell. There it is. Floyd's Custom Shop Inc. This is the MMP 1.0 Fast Mags. So let's see. I'll open that up. I'll show you. It's aluminum. This is what they look like. You see the bevel on that. So this hooks on the back, you hook it on the front and you can feel there's an edge here in the front which kind of grabs and holds and then this locks in the back. So I see people putting on the back on one of the videos and then hammering this up and then it shaves plastic. So this is how I do it. It's been the easiest. Here's your retaining pin. So what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to take your... Your MMP, you're gonna turn your retain for your back strap. We're gonna turn it. It's actually really tight. This one, I don't take this one out very often. There we are. Just use my little girly fingers. They're sensitive. Sensitive. Okay, so there's your tool. So we pull that out. I'm going to show you how we do this. I have this cloth, so it'll protect my sights. You can, I mean, I see guys rack these off of wood and all that. But this is padded, so it's not going to scratch your sights. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to get my armor's hammer. And I took off the brass tip and I put this black rubber. It's rubber. Not going to scratch anything, see? Uh, just showing you don't get mad. I didn't hit it hard, but it won't scratch. So this is how I've done it and This has worked easy. This is the easiest. I would see I lay it I seen someone do it this way and then they smashed it and I did notice this shaped plastic you get a little bit of shaped plastic here, but I I don't even put it on a hard surface. What I notice is I so I put it there. See I Hook there's a hook in there. So I'm gonna hook it in set it back and then i hold it see I put my finger over and this one's gonna hang out back and you'll see it here you could probably put it down but i just noticed when i picked it up and i gave it a good whack one whack look at that when i hold it when i do it on the solid table it wasn't wanting it was bouncing back up um so i think the being that you whack it and goes doesn't shoot back up but see it's set, it got seated on the first blow. And you see it's flat, it's seated. Now you're gonna take your pin, and you're gonna slip this in all the way down. Push it with your thumb, you can. Some say you could push it in. It is kind of up, so maybe I'll. There. Yeah, it did go a little bit down, down. And this is where I was telling you about that quarter. So now you're gonna take your quarter, you're going to slip it in there. Don't use a screwdriver because they're too small. Um, let me just see. And actually, this 
It's too big. So let's try a penny. Use a penny. Oh, yeah, the penny fit. So the quarter, that's strange. because So the quarter fit on the M2.0. But the penny fits on the 1.0. See? Huh. Interesting. So we'll take our penny. We're going to push down. And then just turn and lock into place. And this actually locks much tighter than the 2.0. My 2.0. It's kind of hard to get that to lock in. But there you are. Lock it. Set it straight. There you go. And now you're locked in. Now you got a magwell. Check it out. And we're going to have a, a video coming up of the MMP Shield um, that I, I put an Apex trigger and I'm going to show you the difference uh, of the trigger pulls before and then with the Apex trigger and then I'm going to be mod doing a polishing trigger job on. We're not going to put an Apex, but we're going to see how much lighter and smoother the gun gets by polishing everything inside and not doing polish and the apex trigger so okay so there's your old one there's your magwell there's our plus two let's try it out nice seat let's see if we look that one just locks right in strip nice in there's our plus six look at this one these just lock in nice. That is really nice. So, there you go. That's the install for Floyd's custom mag extensions. Uh, guys, please don't forget to subscribe. And give us a thumbs up. I know these videos are a little draggy. I need to, I think I was told I should do a script. I don't know. I was trying to do these, just be real as I go and think on my feet. So um, I get told I say um a lot. So I'm going to try to work on that and not say um. I think I should be practicing before I put these out. Uh, I just didn't want to. I want you guys to see the struggle I go through when I'm doing it as I do it. Uh, some people, we all know they do it. They practice it. Um, like these, I open them brand new with you. Put them on. Um, they take all the struggle out to show you and then say, oh, it's easy. I did have practice because I put this one on. And I was trying to push it and do what another video said. But it was really, I was having difficult. And then I just, I guess I got my hammer. Held it one whack and it went right on. Uh, and then I tried it here. And that was the first time I've installed this here. Um, and so it's that easy. Just make sure you stretch out your springs and then put them on. This is really easy. Make sure you're putting Loctite. It didn't come with Loctite. I don't know. Your mags go through a lot of vibrations. So like I said, subscribe and let's grow this channel together. Uh, I did. No one has given me any insight to the site we should use on the Maxim Defense. Some people told me offline, so we did order the site. You're going to see our choice. It's not as expensive, like I was saying, the EOTech or the Vortex. It's going to, here, um, I don't want to give up too much. It is a hollow sun, and I think it's just the right site for this gun. Uh, but we're going to be doing an unboxing of that, and then we're going to do the install on that. And then once we get it sighted in, we'll take it out to the range. So, till next time, guys, subscribe, give us your feedback, please be polite, and if there's anything else, any products you want to see on this channel or suggestions, give them to us.